Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 2nd of October 2022. Hope you are keeping well. Uh, one extra game for today. This one is the Los Angeles Times hard level game. Occasionally trickier than the expert level game. Uh, and then sometimes fairly straightforward and easy. I have no idea about this one. Let's jump in and see, shall we? I'm going to start with the lucky sevens blocking up here <coughs> and appearing in this square here. Uh, we'll continue with the sevens, shall we? Because they block, oops, like so, and down here, so that gives me a seven here. What else is on the cards? Well, there's a four blocking up here and a four across here, so that gives me a fairly straightforward four. And now our two blocking across, this all looks uh, fairly um, doable from this uh, particular block, doesn't it? Um, you know, like just get one and then as they kind of, they kind of zero in on things. Um, so what's left there now? So it's uh, five and eight. Okay, we've got the five blocking up here. So that, that block was very sweet, wasn't it? Nice and easy block to begin with. Oh, sorry, nine. Oh, I hit the zero. Sorry, nine uh, in that square. Made a bit of a boo-boo there. Never mind, don't tell anybody. Okay, let's uh, click on some digits. Um, oh, okay, one blocking down here and one across here. I, I clicked on the one, I wasn't looking at the ones, I was looking at something else. Oh, excuse me, sneezing. Uh, it's very weird. In the West, people always say bless you after someone sneezes, right? Uh, which, of course, is short for God bless you because they believed uh, in antiquity, uh, in ancient times, uh, or times of old, I suppose I should say, um, that the devil was inside you. And people said bless you to mean get out devil. Um, uh, here in Thailand, uh, but it, it's a kind of automatic reaction that people always uh, say that, uh, bless you, after somebody sneezes, even if they don't mean it in a kind of, uh, you know, religious way or anything like that. Uh, but here in Thailand, we never speak when somebody sneezes next to us like that. We don't say Gesundheit like they do in America or bless you like they do in England. Uh, when I first lived here, it always kind of seemed weird, but now it seems weird if, I, if anybody does say bless you because I've been here for such a long time. It would seem weird for someone to actually say that now. Okay, we've got fours down here, fours up here, and four across here. So that puts a four into that square there.
Um, I kind of like the look of this nine blocking down here. That puts nine into those squares. Does that mean anything? Oops, the right key here. Um, yeah, I guess it does. Okay, we have nines, this nine blocking down this column here and this nine blocking across here, so nines are in these two squares, possibly in either of these two squares here, right? So then the nine blocks up here and like this, and this nine blocks down here, and then nine is in one of these two squares only, blocking across here, so we know that nine must fit there. Then we have nine across here and nine up here, and that's where the nine goes. Then we can say nine up both of these columns and across the top two rows will fit a nine there. Uh, this two blocks all of these squares here. We need a two for this row, so column, sorry, I should say, two bits there. Missing digits up here are 1, 3, and 4. We have 1 and 3 blocking this square here, so that's got to be a 4. Back to this um, block over here, because I saw the 9 blocking down. What else do we need? In this block, there's got to be something else uh, given away. Uh, we've got twos across like this, so that puts two into those squares. Two will be down here like this. Oops, two is like that. Two is like that and like this. Oh, okay, <laughs> didn't give me. I thought it was going to give me a, a, a something, a certainty there, but no, it didn't quite work out like that. Um, so we've got the nines across there, we've got twos down there, what else do we need? We don't know about the threes, not sure. Uh, six blocks across here, so six is in those squares. So a two and six. Um, I should come back there later. I'm staring at it and it's not doing me uh, much good. Oh, I need to look somewhere else. It's driving me crazy. I keep looking in the same place. It's very unscientific. Definition of insanity, isn't it? You keep looking at the same place and it's only if you're expecting anything to change. I'm not expecting anything to change. I just keep thinking that I might see it in a different way. Um, what are the missing numbers here? One and three. Okay, let's have another look here. One and three are missing. So. Uh, what do we know about five? Not that much. What do we know about six? Seven, eight. Okay. Because I haven't got anything down here much, it's not particularly useful, is it?
let's go through one by one. Ah, okay, here it is. I knew there had to be something somewhere. Five's blocked like this, so five is in one of these two squares, blocking up here, five blocking up here, and five across here. That gives us a five in that square. Uh, this two blocks this square, this two blocks this square, so in the top row that's where the two goes then. And so we are looking for seven and eight in these squares. We've got seven intersecting there, so that's the seven. And that's the 8, 8 across here, and 8 up here puts an 8 into that square. Now we know this is 1 and 3, so this, must com this set of 2 must comprise 5 and 6. Does that help? Uh, no, of course not. Yes, it does. Uh, so six blocks across here and six blocks up here, that's a six then. And then six down here and down here. And across here puts a six there. Six across these two rows. And six blocking down here puts a six into this square here. Uh, one blocks this square here. We need a one for this row because we said one and three here, didn't we? So this has got to be one or three. So we know that the one is in this square here, the three is in these two squares here. Seven blocks up here, so seven is in this square. One finishes off that small block there. We're looking for 3 and 5 in these two squares. We see the intersecting 5 here, so immediately we put our 5 down here and we complete the column with 3. Uh, what's missing from here? 2 and 8, is it? Is that right? 2 and 8. This is then would be 2 or 8 as well. We've got the 2 intersecting here, so the 2 is here and the 8 must be in that square. Fill in the 8 there. We have 8 across these rows and down here. That gives me 8 in this square. 8 up and down, so 8 here, then 8 across here, and down here, and across here. 8 is our first completed digit. Uh, missing from here is 3 and f 3 and 9. Oh, let's see, the 9 blocking down here, so we've got 9 in that square there. Yeah, this is 3 and 9. Uh, don't have any clues on those just yet. Here is 1 and 2. In the middle here, uh, we're looking for two, three. Well, as soon as I see that, I go, that's good. Two, three, and six. So that has to be our six then. Now there's only one empty square uh, across here, which is a one. And uh, most of the game, hard stuff is done, I think. It's just bits and bobs to do now, I suspect. So what's happening in this block here? Uh, where are the threes? We don't know. Where are the fours? They are limited to those squares. And so are the sixes. We've got four and six blocking across here. So we know four and six are here. 
So when we look back here, this is not four or six, it must in fact be a three. And the last digit to get down here will be a nine. Not be a nine. <gasps> a two. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. I do apologize. But um, <laughs> fortunately, I'm playing on a computer and it flagged that mistake up, which was good because otherwise I would have gone on to the end without noticing. <sighs> I made a mistake earlier today when playing as well. My eyes are not very sharp today. Uh, lots, what's missing here? Seven is one of our digits. Seven blocking down here. That's the seven. The last number to get here is a three. Three blocking down this column and down this column. That puts a three into that square there. Uh, we're looking for one and two in these squares. One and two there. Uh, where should we look? Somewhere in this block here, I presume. Let's see what's going on. So we have ourselves one, possibly anywhere down there. We have two, uh, two blocking down here, actually, and across here. So two is in that square. Uh, I forgot to mention, so I didn't see the two up here blocking there. So that's our two. <laughs> Doing it again. And this is our one. I'm having a weird day here. One blocking down here puts a one into that square. One across here puts a one there. The last number here is a three. Three blocks across here. This is a three. The last number to get there is a nine. Nine across here and nine down this column puts a nine into that square. The last number to get here is a five. Five blocking up here putting five into this square. The last number here is a six. Six blocks down here. We have a six for this column. And for this block, we still need a four, and four will finish off the grid. That's it. Well, okay, Los Angeles times hard level game. I almost made a mistake there, but fortunately, got lucky, and the computer went, "No, don't you dare do that." Uh, and if you're playing on a computer, that's a massive advantage. But if I was doing it on pen and paper, though, I, somehow or another, I'd make fewer of those kind of mistakes. I think uh, if I start writing in a number, I'm likely to see the digit in it next to it. But all the, but not always. It's, uh, I certainly have made that mistake before. All right, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, got a lot of work tomorrow, so there may not be too many Sudokus, but let's see what I can get done. Bye-bye.